um, and I stood up from the bed and uh, I could see things starting to vibrate in the room and uh, then all of a sudden the shaking got bigger and then it got much bigger. There was like a shove, there was another shove, waves started coming through the house, bits of the house started falling down, the windows started collapsing in, the walls started separating in front of me. People were carrying uh, their injured relatives, um, people were bleeding, uh, people were screaming, people were dazed. That building's gone, that building's gone, I don't see that building, it must be gone. I think it was realizing that the National Palace was gone, um, that the cathedral was gone, that uh, the UN headquarters was gone. Um, it, was, it was the moments like that where we really realized that even in a country where we'd seen so much tragedy over the years, uh, that this was something unique. And people have, people very quickly, uh, essentially where they sat that first night, uh, they started setting up uh, tents with bed sheets. Uh, once they were able to, uh, basically the U.S. military came in, I think two days later, landed helicopters of the 82nd Airborne Division on the National Palace lawn, uh, started setting up patrols around the city. Once that was established, uh, planes were landing, cargo was being brought in. After that, it has essentially been a long process of uh, Haitians hitting the normal button, which is something that this country is very good at because of the, the history of disaster and tumult over the years. Uh, people were dying of, with diarrhea and high fever. Uh, that turned out to be a cholera epidemic, which is a disease that uh, had never been properly confirmed before in Haiti and uh, probably not existed in Haiti for at least 100 years. Uh, that epidemic has spread. Uh, around 160,000 people have been infected officially, and uh, more than, I think, about 3,500 people have died. Uh, and in the midst of the cholera epidemic, there was an attempt to hold a presidential election because President Rene Preval's term is set to expire on the 7th of February. And that election was pretty much a failure. Um, there were hundreds of thousands of people who had died in the earthquake were still on the voting rolls. Uh, living people uh, were n couldn't find their names on the voting rolls. Uh, there was disorganization, there were allegations of fraud, there was definite violence, there was definite voter intimidation here and there. But if new ways can't be found, and things are still handled in the way they've been handled up until this point, I think that you can expect that there's going to be continued misery and continued suffering, continued hunger, and continued poverty. It's Haiti, and anything can happen. And uh, trying to guess how the year is going to shape up in advance of that is, is, can be futile.